public has free access. Was what would be the fee if somebody was accessing this uh, privately or, and not one of these centers? Well, the fee varies depending on the level of access. So there's different fees involved. Really, you sending your corporate person from your team to really start, you know, making those connections between by industry or or all sorts of different combinations, subsidiaries of companies. Search grants is deceiving to some because some think that that's where the grants are. It's not. Those are profiles of grants already awarded for you to research who else. And we could do a keyword search and, you know, and put Martha Graham and see if, there, if Martha Graham, or if we put Graham Technique, it'll it'll show you every single tax form where Graham Technique shows up and it'll highlight each page of where it is, which is a, like a whole nother side of the research. You're really digging deep and seeing what grants have been given to Graham Technique something, you know, <laughs> uh, or Martha Graham Archival something, you know, there's, it's all researchable because this is all of public record. When someone starts a, 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 a private foundation and decides to give away 5% of, you know, of their assets and the other 95% is just being invested perpetually, <laughs> um, it's all of public record. They must report to the public all of this. What is a challenge for us at the Foundation Center is that the public doesn't know this. And there's still very little knowledge of what foundations are all about. And um, so our role is to educate the public about foundations and how one can inform oneself about foundations. And that's really what we're all about, is advancing knowledge of philanthropy because indeed it makes you a more effective fundraiser if you understand the face of philanthropy in the landscape.